Okay, hey guys, it's Saturday afternoon. I'm doing a little chalk um, project out here on my front porch because it's so pretty out here today. Uh, my surface is an old milk can that I bought and sprayed paint with just a um, outdoor enamel white. That's a glossy. Um, of course, you can see the dents and stuff, but that makes it even better. So this is the stencil I'm going to be doing because this sits on my front porch. And so it's gonna say, welcome to our porch. And then this, cause it's a pretty good size surface. And this is a pretty good size transfer. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta open my transfer. It's a brand new transfer. So the first thing I have to do of course is fuzz my transfer. When I'm doing this outside, normally all of my stuff is inside. So y'all have to bear with me. You're gonna hear the traffic going by, the birds chirping, because I'm enjoying this weather while I can, because we're supposed to have another big cold front come in. Not cold front, but storm front come in. Oh, don't get together like that. Be careful when you're moving your transfers if you've never fuzzed them, because they will stick to each other and you don't want that. And so what I'm doing is I'm just fuzzing it. You can use a towel. You can use um, anything that might have fuzz on it. It basically just makes it where it won't stick so much to your surface. Okay. I'm going to take it and I'm going to center it as best I can. Because the R is like the center focus of the word, the center point. And then I'm just gonna smooth my transfer out with my hands. And I know my paint is not gonna peel off because this paint's been on this for over a year, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna you have to keep working with it till you get it smooth because you you don't want any wrinkles because if you do, you will have wrinkles in your design and I don't want that. Okay. So, and I tend to leave these corners up like this because it gives me an easy way to pull it off once I'm done, once I've got it chopped. Okay. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use this. This Dixie Blue chalk paint that I've made up. This is my own chalk paste that I made, not chalk paint, chalk paste. And I just, um, you can Google a recipe on how to make your own chalk paste. And it's a little time consuming, but it, seems to do better and last longer. If it gets dried out, you just spray a little water. And I'm just stirring it to get it to where it's like a cake batter consistency. So you don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin because if it's too thin, then it'll bleed through your transfer. I buy some transfers, I make my own. Um, if I, there's a design that I see online, I take my silhouette and I can make my own transfers. That's a little time consuming too, but you know, it's still fun because I can get my own, I can even make my own designs, you know, create them in my silhouette studio, my design studio. And you could do it, you can do it with a Cricut too and you can Google the video on how to make your stencils. Um, you just gotta have, um, I think it's 631 vinyl, and then you get like a fine mesh that you can get off of Amazon is where I got mine, and I'm getting this stuff all over me, but I have my wet rag here. And I'm just having to get my paint, my chalk paste, the right consistency, so, and I just use popsicle sticks that you can buy. Any craft popsicle stick will work. And I just add water 
and I use the filtered water out of my refrigerator because it keeps it from uh, molding. Okay. Okay, I think it's about the right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glob some paste. I'm probably glob too much there. You wanna work pretty fast, especially if you're outside like me. You're gonna work pretty fast. I get my I got gnats flying around my head. Oh. And I just take my, my squeegee and I just squeegee my paste, making sure I cover every part of the transfer. And if I get too excess, I just put it back in my container. It's really easy to do. Just make sure you cover all of the mesh parts with your paste. Because that's what makes your design. Like I said, you want to work kind of fast because you don't want it to dry because it will peel your design off. You don't want it to do that. So you got to work kind of fast. Put my excess back in my container. Excess back in my container. water. Put my lid back on my paste so it doesn't dry out. Wipe my hands because I got it all over my hands. And now I'm going to peel and reveal. And as you can see, I got a little messy right here, but that's really easy to solve. Just take a washcloth with the very tip of your washcloth and your fingertip and smooth it out. And there it is. Move this so y'all can see. Make sure I get all this off, but there's my welcome to our porch. See? There it is. Hope you enjoyed.